In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a static IP to a HTTP server hosted on either an Arduino or an ESP board. This is a pretty easy process overall and can be implemented with just a few lines of code. First you need to define your static IP address settings. We do this by using the IP address class within the Arduino libraries. So first we're going to go IP address local IP and we're going to pass four bytes of information through it, each one representative of your IP address. So I'm using 192.168.43.199. It's important to note that the default address is usually 192.168.1 or 0 dot whatever you want for your IP address. This is defined in the router and in my case it's 43. So next I'm going to go IP address once more and this time I'm going to specify the gateway. So my gateway is on 192.168.43.1. Once again it's just important to note that this would usually be 192.168.1.1 or 0.1 depending on the settings in your router. So next I'm going to define the subnet which is 255.255.0.0 in my case. It could be 255.255.255.0 in your case. So now I'm going to define the primary DNS and I'm going to use 8.8.8.8 and the secondary DNS which will be 8844. Okay so it's important to note that these variables are separated by commas and not full stops like you would usually separate your IP address by. Okay so once that's I'm going to scroll down to the setup loop just before the Wi-Fi begin function. I'm just going to put in some error handling here. So if not wifi.config, I'm going to pass through the variables I defined. So the local IP, the gateway, the subnet, and both the primary DNS and the secondary DNS. So that's just if the config settings don't match what I pass through, then I'm going to uh, serial print uh, STA fail to configure. So STA is the acronym for, for short for station. Okay, so that's that done. And you can see the Wi-Fi begin function which you pass the network and password to to connect to the network. Okay, so I'm going to compile and upload that sketch to my board. So I'm using an ESP32, but this method also works on Arduinos as well. Okay, so here you go. We're going to connect to my Mishmash Labs network, and you can see it's connecting. Now, in this first case uh, of running it after an upload, I press reset, and you can see it connects straight away on 199. And just to prove to you that this, this is a static IP, uh, I'm going to change it now to 201, which is 201. I'm going to upload, compile, upload it once more. So you can see it uploading there. And then I'm going to open up the serial monitor. And now again, it's trying to connect. That's what the dots are doing. So I'm just going to reset the board by pressing the reset button on the board. And immediately then, once I reset, it connects to 201, the address that I defined in the settings. Okay, so that's been another video brought to you by Mishmash Labs. I hope you've liked it and it's helped you. Thanks for watching. If you have liked this video and you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button below. If you've liked our videos, please check out our channel. We might have some more to offer you. From learning basic electronic principles to practical tutorials that you can do step by step.